John. Hi, Wolfie. Let bygones be bygones, mate. This is for you. Oh. Well, that's a sweet gesture. Absolutely fantastic. But you must realise this won't make any difference to any decisions tonight. Really? Well, absolutely. That's how it's got to be. Let <laughs> it back, then! Contenders, they're confident, almost overconfident. Is, that, is almost. that Martin? Though? I don't know. I don't know. We'll have to know. see. Okay. First up is Catherine Evans from Lossiemouth in Scotland. Not afraid to get ugly with the gladiators. It's Catherine Evans. I've been doing beauty therapy for about the last four or five years now. I really enjoy it because I'm working with people, I'm meeting new people every day. I mean, it's, it's a great job. I am so glad my parents are going to be at the first show, especially my dad, because he's a bit mad. She'll do as well as she can, and hopefully she'll avoid a battering, but if she gets a battering along the way, well, well there we go. Enigma's kind of got that look to her that you just think, yeah, I'd like to come up against you and take you down. <laughs> She's going down. When a gladiator's chasing me, I think it's just going to be like hell for leather. Just go for it, just keep going and not letting them put you off. Gladiator as well. I'm going to give it 100%, so I want to get through and I want to get maximum points. That's going to be the aim with everything I do. Failure really isn't an option. 100% at all times, whatever the event, and regardless of the gladiator. Hello, Catherine. OK, now, first of all, what made you want to be a contender on Gladiators? Are you slightly mad? Yeah, I think I might be slightly mad now. I'm here, but I can't wait to get going. And first event's up really soon. I'm just going to give it 100%. I'm just going to go for it. Going against you and hoping to administer a serious dose of tough love is Tempest. <laughs> she looks awesome. Beautiful, but fierce. You're nervous? Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I'm a bit nervous, but... I am. I just want to get up there and get this going. OK, good luck. Let's take a look at Tempest's stats. She may be the youngest gladiator, but when it comes to hanging around, Tempest gets tough. Let's play Hang Tough! Hang Tough! 
Contender ready! So it's the first game of the night and I must say Catherine's looking ready pretty scared. Ready. Tempest, Three, however, very focused two, and ready to take down yet one. another contender. And they're off, 60 seconds on the clock, 10 points up for grabs if Catherine can make it to the Gladiator's platform. Catherine doing her best to evade the Gladiator. Tempest now, closing in for the kill. Swinging away, going in for another attack, no joy this time. And she swings in again, this time one-handed. Catherine in trouble. Really pulling away. And she's taken her down. A great effort from Catherine, but zero points. Wolf happy with Tempest's performance. Catherine's dad, however, got it. No points there. You couldn't quite get moving. What happened? Fear. <laughs> <laughs> I got my swing first of all, and then it was just like, oh, where am I going? What am I doing? <laughs> I'm not even in the scoring zone, so I was holding on for a bit, and I was like, why am I wasting my energy? But in the end, she got me down, so... Now, Tempest, you got your thighs round her and you took her down. Did it feel good? It did feel good, and it's really good to be back and everything. And, um, you know, the first event is always really scary for anybody. Um, she did her best, but tonight just wasn't good enough. Oh, so. but you're so lovely. Well okay, done. well done. Unlucky. Next up to see whether she can get the hang of it is Becky Pikett from Buckinghamshire. Maybe small, but Becky Pikett certainly packs a punch. I'm a fitness coach and group exercise coordinator. I'm nicknamed the Pocket Rocket because I'm a little powerhouse. I teach lots of different fitness classes to lots and lots of different people. She's so motivational. She just gets you going. She's so tiny. I tell you what, gladiators, watch out. Dad is a big inspiration for me going on gladiators. He's always encouraged me. She always wanted to be good at sports. She's dedicated to fitness and she does eat, sleep and drink fitness. Ready, uh, my boyfriend is called Mark. I train him in the gym. Two. We're all gladiators. I don't want to see her go up against Panther because Panther's quite strong. She is quite mean. She's definitely uncompromising. I think if you're small, you have great advantages. Ready, steady, the most difficult thing about hang tough is just getting a real big swing, especially if a gladiator's coming towards you and you're having to turn your back on them. That's quite scary. Gladiators, you better be ready because this pocket rocket is about to explode. Gladiators, yeah. <laughs> Okay, now you just saw Catherine on Hang Tough. Did you learn anything from that? To be honest, uh, it's just going to be how I'm... I don't know how I'm going to be when I'm up there. Um, Catherine did really well to, to get where she did, and I'm just hoping to beat her. Okay, now, I think you're going to need some serious luck. You're up against Siren. <laughs> she, she may be smiling all sweet, but she's very confident. Are you scared? No, I'm not no. scared. Bring it on. Nice, OK. <laughs> Let's have a look at Siren's vital statistics. Sultry Siren remains undefeated in every event. Is there anything this gladiator can't do? <laughs> Contender ready? Well, if Becky scores some points here, she'll take an early lead tonight. Gladiator ready? <laughs> Two, one. Away they go. Confident start for Becky. She certainly looks very composed up there, but can she keep it going? Siren on the attack now, and a fantastic move there from Becky. But Siren's wise to that one, and on her like a flash. It could be all over for Becky already. All she can do is try to hold on, but she's down. Siren just too strong for the pocket rocket. Never give up. Never give up, they've got Extra. Becky, 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 you held on for your life. You would not let go. <laughs> At first, I thought I was going to be able to hold on. I did, I, I'm quite strong in my arms, so uh, but a little bit of a shake and she got me down. Absolutely, she's tougher than she looks. I'm lucky. Let's take a look at the scores after the first event. The girls got taken down, so their scores have failed to go up, both on a big fat zero. The girls are hanging loose after their first swing on the ring, so next up is the boys, but be afraid, fellas. Be very afraid, because you're up against Tornado and Atlas. Don't go away.
four more tenacious contenders have taken their lives in their hands by taking on the power and prowess of our godlike gladiators. Okay, let's meet the first male contender. It's Chris Stark from Birmingham. Gladiators, beware. This contender's a lorry load of trouble. My name's Chris. I'm a lorry driver, and I'm from Birmingham. This is my truck. So come on, let's hit the road. I'm here to make people realise that lorry drivers aren't all big, fat and lazy. Sit and drive for about 12 hours a day. It's not easy being away from my family. Well, family means everything to me. Without them, I wouldn't be the person I am. I'm in my childhood sweethearts, and it means the world to me. Bonnie, if I win this, I want you to know that I'll get down on my knees and I will propose to you. To go up against the gladiators is great. I want to show them that they're not undefeatable. Because he's quite a fitness freak, he needed some competition and the gladiators have definitely done that. I'm surprised how well I took to hang tough in training. I was a lot quicker uh, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. I'm looking forward to having a gladiator chasing me. It might make me bring me A game. My dad is going to beat all the gladiators because he's the best. Gladiators, when I'm finished with you, you're going to feel like you've been hit by my truck. a big moment for you. I'm ready to go and I'm here to win. All right, that's fighting. Talk to me. We got Gladiator to knock you down a couple of pegs or two. It's Atlas. You gonna beat that? I'm gonna beat that. Okay, man, good luck. Let's have a look at Atlas's stats. First time on the rings for Atlas in this series and with five wins under his belt, he really is the man to beat. Contender ready! Well, Chris has a lot of support tonight, especially from his girlfriend and their three children. Gladiator ready! Atlas looks in the mood, ready to take a bite out of Chris. Three, two, one! Well, I really think Chris has got his work cut out here. Atlas will be determined to take him down. It's a cautious start by Chris. On Robbie, impressed though. That's better. An ambitious move by Chris now. He's got one hand in the scoring zone. Can he get the other one in there for five points? Difficult when you've got a mountain like Atlas in your way. A bit of a push there from Atlas, but it looks like Chris has got nowhere to go. What does he do now? Well, a warning there from referee John. Chris looks frustrated. Good technique now, though, that's more like it. He's got to get both hands into the scoring zone, and he'll get at least five points. And it looks like Atlas doesn't know where to go. 13 seconds on the clock. Chris getting the better of Atlas here. But now, Atlas has grabbed him. That was so quick. And he's down. Well, it was a dreadful start by Atlas, but once he'd recovered, a great effort. Wolf very happy. That's what I want to see. Chrissy, come over, Chris. Chris, you help me, my friend. 57 seconds, no points, though. But what, you got to a stage there, Chris. You didn't move, you didn't move. I just couldn't seem to get my momentum going. He just can't get hold of me. I can lift my body nice and high, and I thought I was going to be able to evade him right to the end there. I tried my best, and he just got me in the end. Atlas, I've got to say, oh boy, you was absolutely fantastic up there. I'm impressed. You were clearly comfortable up there. Um, you've obviously done your homework, and it took me a while to get you down, so well done. Hey, OK. <laughs> OK, let's see what our next male contender can do, hoping to show his ring craft. It's Terry Sterling from London! Carpenter and dad of four Terry is ready to show the gladiators he's the boss. My name's Terry Sterling, I'm a carpenter, and I'm from Leytonstone. Anything to do with wood in the house, that's where I'm involved. I've had a stammer ever, ever since I was a kid. Growing up, it was hard, because when you're young, kids can be cruel. I stammer, so what? I think my family, they are my biggest supporters. My dad's the real deal. Come on, son! Can't wait to actually look up in the audience, and they're going to be there cheering. One of my biggest in inspirations in, in, my, in my life is my mum. I couldn't wish for a better son. If I ever win Gladiators, I will dedicate the trophy and a good part of money to her. With them Gladiators, and not like or not, I have power, and I will use it. And I, I just can't wait. <laughs> I've got respect for all the Gladiators, but there's one in particular I can't wait to come up against. They call him Tornado. Tornado, I'm Terry the Carpenter, and I've got a message for you. You're gonna get nailed. Yes! Yes, Terry, Terry. 
How are you feeling, my friend, about finally making it to the Gladiator Arena? Great. I waited 12 years to get my chance on Gladiators, and trust me, I'm going to take it. You're going to take it? I'm going to take it. Well, I'm going to have to wish you luck because you are taking on our top boy, Tornado. With a mammoth 10 wins on Hang Tough, Tornado really is the master of the ring. Contender ready! So Terry's moment has arrived, but is he ready to take on the bad guy, Tornado? Gladiator ready! He's looking as confident as ever. Three, two, one! No fear for Terry, straight into battle. Tornado already approaching him, though. And they clash straight into each other. Tornado goes in for the attack again. Terry really needs to get a move on here to get out of his way. Tornado's grabbed his leg. And Terry just can't get away. Oh, that was a good move by Tornado. He spun Terry round. And now Terry has got nowhere to go. His family willing him to hang on. And Terry is certainly a determined customer. He won't give up without a fight. But he's got 15 stone of Gladiator hanging on to him. And down he goes. Well, Tornado looks on great form tonight, and he's certainly going to be tough to beat. You know what? Why am I, why am I with the tactics? You know man? what? I am my game plan. You know what? <laughs> what Didn't go the plan, but you know what? If I get another chance, he's going down. <laughs> Let's look at the boys' scores after the first event. Let's, like, let's show love. Let's show love. Let's show love. So Hang Tough proved a bit too tough for the boys. Like the girls, they're both on zero. So let's take a look at the rules. To a game that's anything but trivial, it's Pursuit. Pursuit. It's the return of an old favourite. To score a maximum ten points, each contender must complete the gruelling Pursuit course without being caught by a gladiator. First, they tackle the under and over hurdles, followed by the monkey bars. Complete these and the contender scores two points. Next, the balance beam. A fall here or on the monkey bars means the contender must return to the start of the obstacle and their hopes could be dashed. Then, contenders have to clear two walls to get a further two points before finally ascending the ramp and getting across the pool. Contenders must at least touch the rope before swimming across to hit the buttons for a maximum ten points. But get caught along the way, and you score only the points you banked. Ladies, we've got absolutely no points, so things could get interesting now. Wolf! Do you think our contenders have got what it takes to beat your girls? Unless my girls make a mistake, you're not going to score no points. <laughs> OK. OK, of course, girls, you are facing Amazon and Enigma. Okay, John, over to you. Contenders, ready! Catherine will be chased by Enigma and Becky by Amazon. Catherine's renowned for her speed and, of course, Becky's known as the Pocket Rocket. Amazon and Enigma are two of our fastest gladiators, so this could be interesting. Three, two, one... The girls are off. They only have a four-second head start, remember, before Amazon and Enigma start the chase. And here come the gladiators, a really swift start by them. Catherine already at the monkey bars, and so is Becky. But the gladiators hot on their heels. This really is a game of cat and mouse. Two points for Catherine as she completes the monkey bars. But that explosion means it's all over for Becky. Amazon was just too quick for her. Enigma not far behind Catherine, 100% concentration on the balance beam. Now onto the walls. Really flying straight over that first one. Another two points for Can she keep her distance from the gladiator? No! It's over as well for Catherine. Four points in the bag though, and a great debut of pursuit for Enigma and Amazon. Oh, ladies, I feel for you, I really do. Becky and but I didn't, I didn't even think about looking behind and I could, I could hear her breathing in my ear. I'm like, nope, that's it for me, I'm, all, I'm off. Well, she got you. But Catherine, four points, well done, you nearly got it. Yeah, nearly did it. Um, the only, it was a really, I really, really enjoyed it. I felt like um, I committed to the, um, the start of it, but Enigma got me at the end. The only good thing about that is that I've got four points, so that's all going into Eliminator, so bring it on. You certainly did. You are on that scoreboard. Catherine jumps into the lead with four points, but Becky's still on zero. 
Well, fellas, I'm going to have to tell you, you're going to have to keep an eye over your shoulder because facing you is Predator and Doom. John, let's get this one going. Contenders, ready! Terry being chased by Doom and our fastest gladiator, Predator, is hunting down gladiator! Chris. The boys only have a three-second start over the gladiators, so they'll need all the luck they can get. Three, two, one! And off they go, a speedy start for the boys. But don't look now, here come the gladiators. Chris is at the monkey bars, and what an incredible leap. He's building a great lead over Predator. Two points for both contenders. They're really going for it. Whoa, Chris stumbled here. But did he put his hand down, I wonder? The referee will want to look at that again. It could mean disqualification. But look at them go. Another two points on the way for both men. It's amazing. Oh, and Terry's fallen. That must have hurt. Looks like Chris is almost whole, if not exactly dry. Terry's made a great recovery. It could be maximum points for both contenders. Great excitement here. Chris has made it. Can Terry stay ahead of Doom, who's getting closer by the second? But he's made it too. An amazing effort from both contenders. And Terry's dad is over the moon. Firstly, I've got to say what a fantastic game that was. Congratulations on your 10 points, Selber. But Chris, what we're going to do, we're going to have to call John in. What's happened here, John? Well, during the run, my assistant referee and I suspected that the contender, Red, put his hand on the beam to steady himself. We've consulted videos in detail, and the decision was uh, that it, conclusively he did touch the beam. See the left hand. And regrettably, that is a disqualification. And the, and the, two, points, and the two points he scored up to that point are null and void. Well, thanks for that, clearing that up for us, John. Well, Chris, you heard that. Is that going to get you down? Because that's the rules of the game. That's fair enough. No problem. I'll come back stronger, faster. It's a great effort from both of you. Let's look at the scores after the second game. Disappointment for Chris. Terry now storming ahead on ten points. Next, our contenders will need lion-hearted bravery and the speed of a leopard if they want to avoid the hits and deal with the runs. And this time, we've made it even harder. It's hit and run! Hit and run. So both girls get to score, but Siren, Battleaxe, Tempest and Inferno have no intention of making it easy for Catherine. Contender, ready! Remember the new rules mean Catherine has just eight seconds to cross the bridge before the light goes out or she fails to score for that crossing. But Catherine also has to avoid the Gladiator's demolition balls to score some much-needed points. Three, two, one! She's off! A quick start. Oh, she was nearly hit then, but she's made it. Two points. Off she goes again. She's so quick. Another two points. And just look at this girl flying now. She's unstoppable. Just making the points there before the light went out. This is unbelievable. It's what Gladiators is all about. Speed, agility, determination. What a contender this girl is. That's ten points now. And she makes another run for it. Can she score yet again? No! It's Tempest who's finally taken her out. A great run from Catherine, though. And also a great performance by the Gladiators. Wolf looks pleased. You're very surprised with that result. How did you feel like it went? Oh my goodness, that was like amazing. <laughs> you were just going for it. Yeah, I you know. You had about four swoops in a row. Yeah, I know, and I was just like trying not to touch the balls because you're not allowed to, and then I just, yeah, that one just got me. Ten points. I'm really happy with that. I did not expect that. Let's get Becky in because you're up next, Becky. Come here, my love. You've got no points yet. You've got a lot of support out there. You've just seen Catherine get ten points. How are you feeling now? I'm going to give it my best. Absolutely. Good luck. We'll speak to you after. Over to John. Becky's dad willing her to do well. Contender! And it's absolutely crucial she scores some points here, or Catherine could be too far ahead to catch. Gladiators! Ready! Gladiators absolutely love this game, though. Three! Two, one! Real 
Pressure on Becky here, and she has run straight into the ball and is hit by a lover. Oh, it's the worst thing that could have happened. It's a disaster for Becky, but a great night for the female gladiators. Yeah. Taken out by Siren. You didn't last very long, did you? What happened? This is not my day. Normally we'd show the highlights now, but seeing as it was so short, we'll look at the whole thing. Thanks for that. <laughs> there we go. You, oh, you stayed on though. To your credit, you stayed on there. You hung on and then you just got whacked by Siren's massive ball. Uh -huh. Let's have a look at the scores. Catherine is on a roll, but Becky is still going nowhere. The girls are safely through their day with the demolition balls, but after the break, it's the boys' turn to become human target practice for these irate-looking Iron Men. It's Warrior! Spartan! Atlas! And Doom! On Gladiators! OK, welcome back to Gladiators! Yes. There's really no ploy to this. You've got to just go for it, you surely? Under a 10%. You can't slow down. Just keep going. And what, you got any, anything to say to the gladiators? Best of luck to you guys. You do your job, I'm going to do mine. OK, well, good luck. I'll speak to you later. John, let's get this one started, man. Contender! Ready! So Chris is a full 10 points behind Terry after being disqualified in pursuit and his daughter hoping Danny can do the business gladiators, here. Gladiators! Ready! It won't be easy up against Doom, Atlas, Spartan, and Warrior. Three, two, one. He's off. He has just seven seconds to cross the bridge before the light goes out. And Chris just makes it. Two points. Look at him go now. What a run. No stopping the truck driver from Birmingham. The Gladiators can't get anywhere near him. Six points now. He's just so quick. And that's eight points. His daughter's loving this. He's going so well here, and what a move. Chris taking no prisoners tonight. Well, he was almost knocked off that time, but he's on a roll. 12 points now. Off he goes again. Oh, but that's it. He's finally taken out by Doom. A brilliant effort by Chris, though. 12 points? I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Well done, my friend. Next up to face hit and run is Terry. Contender, ready? Terry really under pressure with Chris having taken the lead. He needs a brilliant performance. Gladiators, ready? Three, two, one. And Terry's off and running. Or should that be walking? A very cautious start. He needs to be quicker if he wants to reach the platform before the light goes out and he's missed it, I'm afraid. Not a great start. He's picked up speed now, though. And gets his first two points. He seems to have the hang of it now. He's really going for it. Another two points. That gives him four. Flying along the bridge now. And his dad knows it. But Terry has slowed down Keep again. Moving. Keep moving. A warning from the referee, contenders aren't allowed to stop on the bridge or they could be disqualified, and he's doing it again. Terry looks like he's in trouble now. He's already been warned for this. And the referee's called a halt. The rules clearly state you must keep moving at all times. The contender is disqualified from that event. Oh, Terry's family not happy about that. Warrior showing no sympathy at all. Tell, it's unlucky. What happens is, Tell, the rules say you have to keep going, my friend. Listen, what am I going to do? Keep going, that's what you got to do. I'm not running the balls in front of me. What am I gonna... That is harsh. That is the rules. Listen, the rules say, yes, there's no point in me running straight into a ball. I'm going to wait for the yeah, but if you don't touch, yeah, but if you don't touch the ball, you're okay. Yeah, it's unlucky, but let's take a look at Alan Min's scores. Stan with just one game to go before the eliminator. Terry obviously gutted, now two points behind. Next up, it's the final game of the night. Pyramid. First up on the pyramid is the girls, and they'll be facing up to the might of Amazon and Enigma. Ooh, 
Now, this is the final game before the Eliminator. Catherine, you are 14 points ahead, which gives you a seven-second head start on the Eliminator. Are you going to take it easy on this one? No, not at all. I'm going to give this 100%, and I'm not going to give up without a fight. Good, good. And Becky, come here. <laughs> you got no points so far. It doesn't matter. This is the, my final event. I'm just going to give it my best. Um, there's possibility I can score, so I'm just going to go for it. Hey, good luck to both of you. Over to you, John. Contenders, ready? Well, Catherine will be feeling confident with that 14-point lead. Becky has to go for broke here. Bloody no Rangers. half measures. Ready? Come on, back. Three, two, one. And off they go. If Becky can't make it to the top for 10 points, she's at least got to finish on or above the new three-point zone marked out by the Chevron. And new rules also mean gladiators can't tackle a contender below the second step marked by the dotted line. Becky putting up a great fight, but it's not easy. Enigma on great form tonight. And a fantastic run by Catherine, but Amazon's just too quick. Neither of them willing to let go here. It's a great debut by Amazon on Pyramid tonight. She really is proving her worth. Over halfway on the clock, neither contender making an impression. They really need to pick up the pace. Ooh, is that a little kick there from Enigma? Not very ladylike. Catherine tries another route, but once again, Amazon has taken her down. And Enigma's actually teasing Becky now. That's not very nice. Wolf's loving it, though. It has been a pretty disappointing show by the contenders, I'm afraid. The Gladiators in complete control. Becky getting absolutely nowhere. There goes the whistle. Disappointment for both girls. Thank you, Lady Becky. You've been thrown all over the place. It was good fun. She is such a strong girl. I went for her legs at one point. There was no point in me even trying that. She was not moving. I tried to get as close to Catherine as I could as well to see if they would collide. Catherine, it's, it's much tougher than it actually looks, so I didn't actually get very high up. Well, go and get ready for the Eliminator. Let's take a look at the final scores for the girls. So Catherine 14, Becky 0. So a seven-second head start for Catherine in the Eliminator. OK, now it's the boys' turn. I'm waiting to give them a pulverising on Pyramid R, Spartan and Tornado. OK, John, over to you. Contenders, ready? So Chris is two points ahead, and Terry faces a much-anticipated rematch with Tornado. Gladiators, ready? And to be honest, you really wouldn't Three, want to be in Terry's two, shoes. The boys are off. They both make a run for it, but both gladiators are undefeated in this event, so the contenders have a tough challenge ahead. And there's certainly no love lost between Terry and Tornado. Chris also giving it all he can here, but look at that. Disengage! Disengage! Back up! A warning from John. The rules say the gladiator and contender must disengage immediately when they hit the bottom step. This really is a rough old game. Big push there from Tornado, Terry pushes it back. Oh, and Terry's got the better of Tornado. He's so not going to like that. 23 seconds to go, both contenders desperate to find a route through. But Spartan and Tornado are totally in charge. The Gladiator's looking supreme here. But I'm not sure Wolf is completely confident. This must be the toughest pyramid yet. And here we go again. Now then, is that in the rules? Oh, unbelievable! With a second on the clock, and Chris at the bottom of the pyramid, John has disqualified Tornado. Yes, I'm serious. Is he serious? Whoa, whoa, whoa! What a fight, but what I'm going to do is, I'm going to call Johnny. John, can you come in, please? Come in, John, because uh, you need to explain some stuff. What's happened there? The simple matter is that the gladiators cannot tackle below the marked zone. Yes. And the rules clearly state that if that happens, the gladiator is disqualified and his, and, and his opponent gets 10 points. Listen, listen to this clearly, baby. Hear me out and hear me clearly. this nice and slowly. You just got now. I ain't got nothing more to say about that. 
Okay, you let's just have a look at the scores before we get to the eliminator. Boy, that was hard work, man. Terry's on 20 and Chris is on 12, giving Terry a four-second head start in the Eliminator. After four events, multiple beatings and endless sponge finger waving, we reach our finale. After the break, we see which two of our contenders can enjoy the assault course from hell and put themselves through to the quarterfinals. On Gladiators! When the final whistle blows, go to sky.com forward slash gladiators and catch Garen Mitchell with all the things you never catch on the telly. Plus, our online exclusive weekly show, Gladiators Unleashed. Yeah! off the pyramid and now it's the moment of truth it's the eliminator the eliminator this incredibly grueling course begins with getting wet it's a dive into the pool then a swim under the wall of fire that's followed by a slippery climb up the cargo net where so many contenders come a cropper then we come to the new floor travelator yes this year we have not one but two after that, it's the monkey bars for the girls, hand bikes for the boys, a sprint down the balance beam to be met at the bottom with a climb to the top of the leg-sapping pyramid, a glide down the zip wire, and finally, the mother of all challenges, the one that makes you or breaks you, it's the Travelator. That's the all-new Eliminator. Girls, so Becky. Zero points, which means you're going to be seven seconds behind. Are you worried about that? Feel under pressure? Seven seconds is a bit of a hefty delay, but um, I'm just going to give it my best and, and show everyone what this pocket rocket's made of. OK. Well, good luck, Bex. And Catherine, seven seconds. You feel that's going to be enough? Yeah, hopefully that should be enough. Um, I'm just going to put my heart and soul into this eliminator and hope to burst through the blocks first. Mm, OK, I'm sure you want to get on with it, girl. Best of luck to the both of you. Over to you, John. Contenders! Ready? So this is it. It all boils down to the Eliminator and a place in the quarterfinals Catherine, for Catherine or Becky. A seven-second head start whistle. for Catherine, which means Becky, that Becky is really up against it. Second whistle. Three, two, one! And Catherine is off. Looks like a good start for her. A very strong swim. She's really setting the pace here. Now Becky goes. She has to move fast to have any hope at all. Catherine already climbing the cargo net and taking it on with ease. No problem at all. Becky fast approaching the net though, but Catherine is really moving smoothly here. Catherine's at the top already, and now Becky is on her way up. Catherine really taking her time with the cargo net. A very delicate descent from her. She needs to hurry up. Becky is now making up ground, and Becky's at the top. But look at Catherine go, flying across the floor, Travelator. Becky hasn't given up, though, as she heads for the Travelator. And really, she's catching up some valuable time now. Can she even upset the odds here? Onto the monkey bars, they can't afford to make a mistake. One slip, it could all be over. It's the most grueling assault course on TV. The pain is relentless, the arms are aching, the legs like lead, the heart pounding. Catherine has absolutely nailed the pyramid, and now for the zip wire. Down she goes, almost there now. But Becky refusing to give up, it's still all to play for. One mistake from Catherine, and Becky could still do it. Just one sprint left, but it's the hardest sprint she'll ever have to make. Catherine's so determined, and she's done it. What a great contender, and a deserving winner. Becky's right behind her, and she's up as well. A great effort. Becky should be very proud of her performance. And Catherine's family are ecstatic. Yes, Eric, for the girls. What a great effort from the girls. Catherine, through to the quotas. Awesome. How are you feeling? Oh my goodness, that was just amazing. I just wanted to stay focused, not lose my, not lose my head, you know, mm. and uh, I just committed to it. Once you got to the top there, you realised you'd done it. Oh, I just went for it. Look at that, look at it. 
Fantastic, fantastic. Have a bit. It was so much to make up the seven seconds. You can see she's very focused and she was really, really quick, wasn't she? Um, Joanne, I'm so pleased to be in this competition with her. She's been a great sport from the beginning. And uh, do you know what? I haven't lost anything. I've been on Gladiators! Yeah. OK, and a show from up for these two. That'd be fantastic. Let's go over and see what the boys are doing. Chris, you start four seconds behind. Is that too much to catch up on? No, it shouldn't be. As long as I keep moving, keep going, I'll make the time up. Ah, nice. OK, Terry, you managed to get ten points on Pursuit which means you're going to be pretty good on this, right? You know what, yeah, the nerves are there, but all the best sportsmen in the world, they get nerves. You just got to do a bit, focus, and get on with it. Absolutely. Hey, good luck to both of you. Over to Tom. Contenders! Ready? Well, Terry and Chris have had huge support in the arena tonight, and they've both had a very tough evening. Terry, you will Two great contenders ready now whistle. to do battle to the end. Chris... You will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Terry is off. Chris will be just four seconds behind him. Here he comes. Both moving really quickly here. This is going to be some eliminator. They're approaching the cargo net almost side by side. Terry just got there first. And both climbing the cargo net with real style. Terry just ahead, but oh no, he slipped. And now Chris has taken the lead. It's the new floor travelator next. Could it be the undoing for both men? Look at this, they're almost neck and neck. They are neck and neck. Absolutely nothing between them here. Surely this is starting to hurt now. Their arms must be feeling the burn. But there's a big prize at stake. That precious place in the quarterfinals. This is so close, it's agonising. Terry off first. And Chris seems to be stuck. Has he blown it? As Terry storms into the lead. But look at Chris go. No one's ever climbed the pyramid that quickly. And he's right back in it. What a competitor. Nothing to separate them. This could be one of the closest finishes ever. After all the blood, sweat and tears, it's come down to the last few seconds. There can only be one winner. And Terry's gone down. He's gone. It's Chris who clinches a place in the quarterfinals. What an amazing eliminator. Terry limps through to the end, but I have to say, he looks like a broken man. Well, Chris, that was amazing. Well done. That was so close. You are the winner. You've got to describe how you're feeling right now. Pretty tired. <laughs> <laughs> no, that was great. Uh, Terry's a great guy. You can see it was just that split second. Like I say, ter Terry's such a good, strong, fit guy. Yeah. Uh, I mean, that goes after Terry, he's a good man. And Terry, come on over, my sweet. Come here. Oh, it was so unbelievably close. Well, I'd just, just like to say, man, Chris, we started this journey together. He's an outstanding guy, and you know what? I couldn't lose to a better guy, so that's up to him. <laughs> brought their A-game to the table, killing the hopes and dreams of Becky and Terry. We will see Catherine and Chris in the quarterfinals. What did you make of it all right? I told you how awesome this is. It's awesome. awesome. Make sure you join us next week for more phenomenal power and superhuman strength from what can only be described as the sweatiest show on television. It's Gladiators! Go! Next week on Gladiators, the return of a classic game, and it's a toughie. Girls get nasty. She seems to spend so much time on the floor. I thought you were looking for some of your bling. And there's a new breed of contender in town. Never seen those tactics before. Hope it doesn't catch on. Beyonce, Stevie Wonder and Bruce Bourne and the USA Springsteen are among the stars celebrating Barack Obama's inauguration. Join the party over on Sky Arts 2 at 7.30. Here on Sky One First, it's big, it's yellow and it's hurtling towards Springfield. It's Comet Bart in the first of four Simpsons.